take drivers, I will say, out today. I have run into so many crazy drivers today. Like it's nobody knows how to drive and people are just like raging. When I was pulling up to my dentist's office, I had to lane change to like actually pull in because there's only one entrance to that plaza. So I ended up having to lane change in front of this guy in a truck. It's like this big like truck blacked out, um, kind of scary looking on its own. But I lane changed in front of him and I made sure like I didn't do anything weird or like sketchy. And I will say that if I cut him off, then my side blind zone alert would have started like dinging and it scares me every single time. But basically if I start indicating to make a lane change and I'm too close to the car that's like sort of in my blind spot, it doesn't even have to actually be in my blind spot. But if it's like too close, it'll ding. And now I will say, I know it's possible for me to make a lane change while it's dinging because it leaves like a good amount of space between me and the car when I lane change. Otherwise it'll ding. So all this is to say that it did not ding. For the record, it did not ding, which means I did not cut this guy off. But I make a lane change and then I end up having to slow down because there's a bus stop like shortly in front of me. So I ended up having to slow down and stop. When that happened, like a couple seconds after, he starts like flailing his arms. He's like, like yeah, I can see him yelling in my rear view mirror. He's like honking, like this guy is mad. I'm like, oh, like, I'm sorry, but you know, the, the bus, like I, I can't really control where buses stop. Um, but yeah, so I'm just sitting here like, and then the bus starts going again, I start driving, and then like two seconds later, I turn right to get into the plaza where my dentist office is. So I go right into the plaza, and he follows me into the plaza. And at this point, I'm kind of panicking a little bit because this guy is like clearly angry, but you know, there are other things in the plaza. There's plenty of other things in that plaza. So I'm thinking, okay, you know what? He's not following me. I get in and then I turn towards where my dentist's office is. And he actually turns the opposite way towards this shopper's drug bar. So I was like, oh, thank God he's not following me. I'm sitting in my car filming the part of this video that you guys saw before I went into the dentist's office. And I'm sitting there for a good like five minutes filming that part of the video. If that entire time, he's sitting in the shopper's drug mart parking lot just sitting there. So I see him, he has not got out of his car because I've been keeping an eye on him because I'm low-key scared, but he's just sitting there in his car. I finish filming, it's time for me to go check in for my dentist appointment and I get out of my car and the moment I open my door and put my leg out of the car, he starts driving towards me. So I'm gonna say, I don't even really know a proper like distance to give you guys about how far he is away from me, but like he's in a separate area of the parking lot completely. But yeah, so I open my door and as soon as I do, he drives over to where I am. Now there was a car parked right next to me. I'm in like the last parking space on the left and he parks next to the car that's beside me and he just sits there. Now, by the time he's parked, I'm inside the dentist's office because all of these parking spots are right in front of the dentist. So now I have just made it inside the dentist. My car's outside. He is outside parked like two cars over. He's just sitting there in his truck. I'm in the waiting area of the dentist's office and I keep looking out the window and he's there. Like he's just there and he's staring. He's glaring back at me. And I'm like, like, what do I do? So I keep like looking outside. I'm looking at my car. I'm looking at his truck to make sure that like he's not, you know, going out to slash my tires or anything. A couple minutes later, it's my turn to go, you know, for my appointment. The person who comes out to get me is taking my temperature. And I guess she noticed that I was like a little, you know, uneasy and kept looking over my shoulder at this guy. She gave me this questioning look. So I was like, there's this guy who followed me into the parking lot and now he's parked right outside the dentist's office. She was like, oh my gosh, what? So she tells the receptionist, but she brings me back um, into the room where I had my teeth filed down. But she tells the receptionist as well as the dentist and everybody's sort of like very concerned for my safety, obviously, because this guy <laughs> followed me over like if it had just been that he turned into the plaza and then he went about his way and like did something else that would have been fine but what is really creepy about the situation and scary is that he went to the shopper's parking lot which is across you know the lot from my dentist's office 
and then he waited until I got out of my car and then drove over and parked right in front of the dentist's office. That being said, right next to my dental office, there is a subway. So in my mind still, and you know, everybody else was thinking, okay, that is very strange, super suspicious, but in theory, this guy could just be, you know, getting a sub. So anyway, I go in and he stays there for a good 10 minutes. Like I'm pretty sure the reason that I was sitting in the actual dental office waiting for the dentist for 10 minutes before he started was because they were keeping an eye on the guy outside who had followed me over there. And he stayed there. He stayed there for 10 minutes. And they were telling me that he, like he was on the phone, he was acting like super animated and like he they didn't say angry per se, but he, he was very animated talking to somebody on the phone. And then eventually he drove, he drove away after like 10 minutes of me not coming out of the dentist's office, which is like terrifying because like, I feel like this guy was waiting for me. Like if I came out sooner or maybe if he didn't notice that the other dental staff was keeping an eye on him for me, I, I honestly think he would have stayed there and confronted me when I came out. And God knows what this crazy man would have done. Like, like why do people like that even exist? Like, I'm so, I, <laughs> like, I don't, like, what is that? Anyway, so that is the, the, the stressful situation that I just found myself in. Luckily, I left and... Oh, actually, it's funny. So they said that he left. He went down like a certain way that you can see from the front of the dental office where the only thing there is the exit. Like you can't even turn around there. There's not enough space. So they were like, he went down that way. He's gone. The receptionist was really sweet. She walked me out to my car and made sure that everything was okay. While I was in the office with the dentist after he had filed down my teeth and we were like talking about the situation, he was like, listen, we'll have somebody walk you out if you see that guy. Cause I got his license plate down before I went to the back. And he was like, if you see that guy and you see that it's that same truck with the same license plate, call the police, like call the police. If it was just, you know, a little bit of road rage, the police wouldn't do anything. But the fact that he followed you here, he's harassing you. If he is still here, call the cops. So it was just like a crazy, crazy situation. I don't know. I, <laughs> I was scared, not gonna lie. Part of me was scared for like my well-being, but I also knew like my dental office is amazing. Like they are all like bless their hearts. I know that they they would have kept an eye on me until I was like safely gone um, out of sight. But part of me too was thinking that I was going to leave the dental office and then come out to like slash tires or like a keyed up car or something because this guy was pissed like piss pissed and I don't, I don't know why. Like the only reason that I can think of that he would have gotten mad is because I lane changed in front of him and then we ended up having to stop for the bus and he had to wait. But like crazy, like I, Whew. anyway, that is how that went. I love how this has turned into like a weird, like this guy in a truck was stalking me story time um, when this was just meant to show you guys my experience um, getting my teeth contoured. Whew, anyway, right now I am just stopping at like my favorite burrito place, Fat Bastards, because I was in the area. My younger sister is working right now, so I just figured I'd do a little something nice for her and pick her up some dinner. So that is where I am now, but I'll come back um, once I got her food. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I pulled up and I see my sister. She's so cute. There she is. There she is. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Let's go see. Oh. I'm gonna spill it. That looks so good. Like that, that looks really good. Oh, that looks so good. Woo! 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 The car! I already told you it's gonna be missing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That's really 
Then there's a lot. Are you okay? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but like, I don't ever think that's very spicy. <laughs> Why am I just something? I never. <laughs> well, that's really weird. Maybe it's like the type of spice. Yeah, maybe. I knew that was a thing that people did. Yeah. But like, I never <laughs> actually seen anybody do it. We're about to be driving to Ajax like every other weekend. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's so crispy. At least you stopped picking it. My body just had to get ready. Yeah. I didn't know what was coming. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now I like feel it at the tip of my tongue all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Like right at the tip. Now I'm full. There you go. Oh, that was so <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <clears throat> Yeah, what were your thoughts? Um, I don't know. It's up there with the best don't. chicken I've ever had. Yeah. It's up there. It's, it was so good. It was like crispy, but like super juicy and saucy and <clears throat> spicy. How many other flavors do they have? Is it and just four. one? There's And is one of them like just the dry chicken? Yes. Okay. So we have to come back two more times. Three more times. I'm down, I'm down. Anyway, 10 out of 10. If you live in Durham region, 